Welcome Taurus. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Shadow Healing, the Cosmic Reading Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get stuck in here, shall we? Okay, so three cards for Taurus, please. Three cards for Taurus. Oh, what have we got here? Two cards and a three. Excellent. Just like that, Taurus. No mucking around. Straight into it. Alrighty. First card here is numb. Avoiding our feelings can sometimes be exactly what we need. But at some point, the numbness will dissipate. Face it now or later. Either way, it catches up with you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. The next card here is fraud. Being left with a deception that you once thought was true can leave you feeling beaten. But you will emerge from this situation stronger than when you began. And darkness. As dark as it seems, it is your choice whether to stay shrouded in the abyss or cast aside the cloak and rejoin the others in the warmth of their light and energy. Wow. Wow, that's pretty huge, Taurus. Okay, so let's have a look further into this. Two cards for Num, for Taurus, please. Avoiding our feelings can sometimes be exactly what we need. But at some point, that numbness, the numbness will dissipate. Face it now or later. Either way, it catches up to you. Okay. We have Shine. And we have integrity, okay? You know, actually, I kind of wonder if it is catching up on you for, for some of you. Um, and first of all, let me just address this. Sometimes numbing our feeling feelings in order to get through what it is that we're going through, um, yeah, I, I suppose it can be necessary for sure. I think the danger there is not acknowledging it and having it come back up and slap us when we, when we least expect it. So if this is something that you've done, make sure that you are acknowledging it at the time that, um, you know, when you're through whatever it is that you've been through. And to be honest with you, Taurus, there never seems a right time. So be aware of that also. Um, but you don't want it coming up at the most inconvenient time, okay? But with the shine card here, I feel like this is shining um, the light onto the things that have been put into the shadows, into the um, darkness, so to speak, so that, um, you know, until it's time to be dealt with. And I feel like now is the time. We have integrity here and what I'm drawn to here is the darkness and it's going in there, okay, rising above it and seeing what it is that needs to be dealt with. But give me two cards for shine here. Tell me more about this. Okay, that is one. Yep, and one more card for shine, please. Okay, I'll just pick this one up. Okay, first card here we have is the burden, right? And this is what you're carrying around here. And we have transformation as well. So, you know, this is about transforming that burden, okay, that you've been carrying around. Shining light on the darkness here um, is what is important right now. Um, because realistically um, you are in control of how that all pans out so if I, I think you know that there is stuff there that needs to be dealt with and it may have even been tapping on you saying you who here I am so yeah integrity two cards for integrity for Taurus please one more card okay cool this is good this is good yep um what's this card here Letting go, yep. Um, so the thing is that, Taurus, when you let go what it is that needs to be let go of, and, and when I talk about letting go, it's it's actually working through it. It's not just as simple as like, oh, we'll just drop it and it, everything will be okay. I think sometimes um, there's a huge emphasis on just let it go. 
as though it's as simple as that, but it takes work, okay, and um, work that is required for healing to take place, okay, but once you do that, you will be able to rise up and blossom once again, because there may have been a time where you felt like you were blossoming, and something has come along and slammed you, and slammed you good, um, not in a good way, but it's, it, it brought you down. It brought you down well and truly. And uh, it's really cool because having the flowering and the transformation card here, I feel like this is such a positive thing for you, Taurus, because, you know, you are Taurus. This is the whole thing, right? You are Taurus. And at the end of the day, you are, um, you, you have that strength within. It's just tapping into it. It is tapping into it because sometimes when we numb ourselves and suppress things, um, it can be a bit, little bit hard to see where that strength resides, but it is in there. Okay, so as you let things come up and shine the light on the things that need to be dealt with, you will find the strength right there because you're not only shining the light on the things that need to be dealt with, you're also shining the light on your inner strength. Okay. So next card here we have is Fraud. Really interesting because as soon as this card jumped out, the first thing I got was some of you feel like you're a fraud and that, you know, you because, you know, of this hiding away from things that maybe that need to be dealt with. Yeah, I have the sense, two cards for Fraud for Taurus, please. I have the sense that some of you are um, scared that, If people really got to know you, they'll see that you're not who you kind of make out you are. But I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I think it's more fear than anything, Taurus, because of this numbness or this numbing that you've done for yourself, okay? Um, so, yeah, two cards for fraud, please. Being left with the deception that you once thought was truth can leave you feeling beaten, but you will emerge from the situation stronger than when you began. I don't really know if some of you believe you have that strength. That's the only thing. But it is there. And you got through it, Taurus. You got through it. So let that be your inspiration. Let that be your um, glimpse into the strength that you actually have. Even if you don't feel like you got through it very well, you, you still got through it, okay, it's not coming out the way I want it to, one more card for fraud, for Taurus please, one more card for Taurus, for fraud, there it is, thank you, okay, so we have here, oh wow, Taurus, walk your truth, Put your fingerprints on the world. Put your handprints on the world because, you know, this this really is, I feel like, about you making your mark. Standing up and being counted. Standing up and having a voice, right? Two cards for Walk Your Truth. Wow. Okay. Okay. We actually have four cards, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, there's been this um, sense of you holding back, okay? You've been holding back because of something that has happened in the past, all right? And um, it could even be brought through from a past life. And now it's time to really resolve it because you actually couldn't in a past life, okay? Um, and with this numbness here, I feel like this card here is representing that of kind of blinging up the book box, putting your head in the box a little bit just to get through what you needed to get through um, and, and protecting yourself. It was a protection. Um, but the thing is that now it's time to let yourself out of this ice cage. And the way to do that is to actually allow yourself to feel what it is that you couldn't feel at the time because it was too overwhelming and you had to get through um, and cope with 
whatever it was was that was going on okay and the next card we have here is golden crown and this is it because once you melt that ice and reveal and yourself and and stand up and be counted and make your mark on the world because also i feel like this is someone reaching out from the darkness going here i am here i am i'm coming up and this is you rising up here taurus which i absolutely adore for you okay rising up and wearing the golden crown that belongs to you okay and really shining your light bright because in the and you know with the world the way it is at the moment we need all the light bearers that we can get and you Taurus are definitely one of those you are the way shower okay you are the light worker who is here to assist in this um, process that is going on on the earth right now okay so golden crown two cards for Taurus the golden crown please this card I didn't like how it fell out but we've got the first card here one more card for golden crown for Taurus thank you going with the flow here we go this is the beginning of a something incredible and it's important for you to go with the flow whatever that is whether it's a new passion whether it's a new relationship whether it's a new job whatever it's the beginning of you wearing your golden crown and wearing it with pride and wearing it with the confidence and being empowered to step into the truth of who you are Taurus okay because you are pretty incredible okay this um, is also there might be someone around who can guide you um, into doing that all right um, and help you along each step of the way I feel like for some of you you are the guide though and so in a sense this is actually you potentially believing in yourself and not turning away from yourself anymore allowing yourself to step into that power and really own it okay next card we have here is darkness so let's have a look here Taurus darkness two cards for Taurus for darkness please as dark as it seems it is your choice whether to stay shrouded in the abyss or cast aside the cloak and rejoin the others in the warmth of their light and energy and I feel like this is your soul um, family okay um because you once were with them and it's time to reunite with them again okay and um and step forward okay and you'll find them when you put that golden crown on you'll find them because they'll recognize your light all right so let's have a look here we have be fearless yeah own it own it taurus be fearless um, some of you, it's possible that you're afraid of shining your light because in the past, maybe you've been ridiculed and put down. Okay. It may have been quite intense for you. And, um, but I feel like whatever it is that you've been through, Taurus, has, um, caused you to evolve and grow, um, into this, it's, into this um oh gosh what are the words here into a being who is so powerful that even the intensity has nothing on it right you've got this new beginning here two new beginnings here right um and i really feel like when you step into this fearlessness and it doesn't mean to say that you're not going to be a little bit anxious but it's actually just embracing it and stepping forth anyway I actually think you're going to surprise yourself okay and and that is exciting because the light that you shine the darkness is not going to have the power over you that it once had okay and neither will anyone else um, who cloaked you with their own darkness okay so two cards this is the next card here emotions I don't think I showed you that 
really interesting. I feel like, you know, be mindful here, Taurus, of what is going on in your mind and how that is impacting your emotions, okay? Um, try and keep, uh, just, just try and keep those thoughts in check so that they don't create any fear that doesn't need to exist in your life. Because remember, fear is false expectations appearing real. Okay, so just, just be very mindful of that for yourself. Okay, emotions. Two cards for emotions for Taurus, please. Wow, there you go. Just like that. New vision. The dream. Yeah, this is a new vision. This is a new dream for yourself, right? Seeing what it is that you can create. Coming out of the box. Streets, you know, really coming out of this um this conformity or this um this density that you know you've been placed in not just by others but from yourself as well okay and i feel like for some of you the emotions keep you there and it's time to come out of that now it's time to rise up and um not let those negative emotions control you and keep you down anymore to really um allow the dream to transpire okay okay because you've got this flowering transformation here okay and you've got this new vision in the dream like this is absolutely incredible you've got these this new beginning that is really powerful and incredibly positive right and um and i really feel like here taurus that this is the beginning of you um planning out and actually executing something that is going to last for lifetimes. It's almost like you would do, do this in this lifetime and then come back in another lifetime and it's already in place and you would look at it and go, wow, who was the genius who created this? It's, it, that's actually the power that I'm feeling here. It's you who is the genius. It's allowing yourself to shine. That is required for you to actually walk your truth. Okay? So stand up. Be counted. Be fearless. And step into the truth of who you are. Okay? Because this is what the world needs right now. The world needs you, Taurus. And not only that, but you need you. Okay? And if you need to prove, feel the need to prove anything to anybody, prove it to yourself. Because you're the one who matters the most. Okay, Taurus? I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful, powerful self. See you. Bye-bye.